Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy the Ubuntu Linux desktop edition on VMware Workstation. So I'm deploying Ubuntu Linux desktop edition as a virtual machine on VMware Workstation. Just so you know, Ubuntu is one of the popular Linux distributions developed on the Debian Linux platform. Ubuntu is available in multiple editions. You have desktop edition, server edition, IoT and cloud editions. You can deploy these editions of Ubuntu Linux on a physical machine or a virtual machine. I will be using VMware Workstation to create the virtual machine for deploying Ubuntu Linux desktop edition, but you can use hypervisors such as ESXi or Hyper-V. First thing, you need to download the ISO file from Ubuntu website. Browse the webpage https ubuntu.com slash download. Once the page is loaded, click on Ubuntu Desktop. Scroll down a little and you would find Ubuntu 2204.1 LTS version. Click on download and this would download the ISO file. In my case, I've already downloaded the ISO file. So I'm going to click on cancel. Okay, let's start the deployment of Ubuntu Linux Desktop Edition Virtual Machine. So I'm back in VMware Workstation and I will create a new VM. I'll click on File and click on New Virtual Machine. On the welcome screen, click on Custom Advanced Configuration and click on Next. For the Virtual Machine Hardware Compatibility, select the latest version which is 16.2.x in my case and it is already selected. I'm going to click on Next. You can select the option installer disk image file ISO and select the ISO file which has been downloaded. But I'll select the option I will install the operating system later and click on next. In the guest operating system screen, I will select Linux as the OS for this virtual machine and the version I will select Ubuntu 64 bit and click on next. Specify the virtual machine name. I will name this as Ubuntu desktop 01 and specify your location where you would like to store the virtual machine files by clicking browse. I'm going to scroll down and select my D drive and I'll select my virtual machines folder and in here I'm going to create a new folder by clicking make new folder and I'll name this as Ubuntu desktop 01 and click on OK. Click next. Now you can specify the number of processors and cores that you would like to assign to this virtual machine. I will specify one processor and two cores. This will provide two vCPUs for the virtual machine, which is also recommended by Ubuntu. Click on next. Specify the amount of memory that you would like to assign to this VM. I'll keep the default four gig, which is again recommended by Ubuntu. And I'm going to click on next. For the network type, I will select the default which is Use Network Address Translation NAT for the network adapter and I'm going to click on Next. For the SCSI controller, I'm going to keep the default selected which is LSI Logic Recommended and I'm going to click on Next. For the virtual disk type, I will select SCSI Recommended since we selected SCSI controller in the previous screen. I'm going to click Next. I will create a new disk by selecting the option create a new virtual disk and I'm going to click next. For the disk space, I will specify 25 gig of disk space which is recommended by Ubuntu. I'm not going to allocate all the disk space now and I'm going to keep the default option which is split virtual disk into multiple files and click next. For the virtual disk file name, I will keep the default name and click on next. You can review the virtual machine settings and click on customize hardware to change any settings. I'll click on new CD, DVD, SERA and click on use ISO image file. Click on browse and I'm going to navigate to the folder where I've saved the ISO image file of Ubuntu desktop. So I have Ubuntu 2204.1 desktop AMD 64 ISO. And I'm going to click on open. Now I'm going to remove USB controller. So I'm going to select this and click on remove. I'm also going to remove sound card and printer. All right. I'm going to click on close and click finish to create the virtual machine. I'm going to click on the play button to power on the virtual machine. 
and in the grub i'm going to select try or install ubuntu wait for the setup screen to load now you'll be presented with a welcome screen and you will see two options try ubuntu and install ubuntu if you would like to run ubuntu in live mode you can select try ubuntu or if you would like to install ubuntu then click on install ubuntu to start the installation process i'm going to click on install ubuntu select your keyboard layout i am happy with english us and i'm going to click continue i will keep the normal installation selected which will install web browser utilities office software games and media players you can also select minimal installation if you just want a web browser and basic utilities i'm going to select normal installation you also have some options download updates while installing ubuntu and you can also install third party software for graphic and wifi hardware and additional media formats i'm going to keep them unchecked and click on continue in the installation type screen i will keep the default option selected which is erase disk and install ubuntu which would basically erase everything on the virtual disk and install ubuntu with the default partitions you can enable any additional features such as lvm or zfs or even encrypt the ubuntu installation directory for now i'm going to keep this selected as none and i'm going to click cancel but if you would like to create custom partition or resize them you can click on something else but for now i'm going to select erase disk and install ubuntu and i'll click on install now to start the installation on the right changes to the disks it says that it will format the disks to continue with the installation simply click on continue select a time zone in my case it is india kolkata and click on continue now i'm going to type my name and the computer name i'll name this as ubuntu desktop 01 pick a username will be same as my name and i'll specify the password i will log in automatically and click on continue all right the installation will begin and it will take some time to complete ensure that the installation is completed and click on restart now to reboot the virtual machine and you can disconnect the iso file while it is rebooting so i'm going to click on cd or dvd and i'm going to uncheck the connected options and connected at power on and click on okay so i've removed the installation media so i'm going to press enter and you will be logged into ubuntu desktop operating system which we installed on a virtual machine running in vmware workstation one last thing which we have to do is to install the vmware tool so i'm going to right click on the virtual machine you can see it already says reinstall vmware tools that means the vmware tools has already been installed on this vm okay so this is how you deploy ubuntu linux desktop edition on a virtual machine in vmware workstation i hope you like this video for more videos like these please subscribe to my channel